Elon Musk has sent shockwaves through the rocket industry once more. Many had anticipated that SpaceX would need time to recover after Starship's second test flight. But to everyone's surprise, Elon has revealed that the company is ready to unveil a new version of the Starship, with many prototypes undergoing upgrades as we speak. Let's take a look at this new version of the Starship and what improvements it will bring to the largest rocket in the world. Elon Musk's extraordinary ambition has once again set a remarkable precedent. SpaceX, under his leadership, has just accomplished the second orbital flight of Starship, a feat previously only imagined by competitors. This achievement not only remains unmatched, but also leaves other companies struggling to figure out how to surpass it. In a groundbreaking move, Musk has shaken up the entire rocket industry by introducing the latest iteration of Starship, a formidable and powerful version, solidifying his innovative prowess. Starship, a visionary spacecraft crafted to perch atop an imposing super-heavy rocket, constitutes the world's inaugural fully reusable launch system. Following a series of rigorous tests, SpaceX has continuously refined and upgraded Starship under Elon Musk's leadership, making it increasingly comprehensive. Although already distinguished as the largest and most powerful rocket ever built, Musk's quest for innovation persists. Recently, he unveiled bold upgrades, ushering in a new generation prototype named Starship Vive 2. In a revealing photo shared by Musk, multiple starships, including S-28, S-29, S-30, and S-32, occupy the high bay. Musk declared these as the last of the V-1 series, signaling SpaceX's intention to modify the starship design and commence manufacturing the next iteration in the near future. Musk highlighted key features of the new generation, stating that Starship Vive 2 accommodates more propellant, reduces dry mass, and enhances reliability. While Elon Musk hasn't delved into specific details regarding future Starship variants, some potential features can be inferred from his past tweets. Musk hinted at the possibility of future Starships incorporating three additional vacuum Raptor engines, and there might be an extension of the spacecraft size by at least 10 to 20%, according to Musk's tweet in September of this year. If the speculated 20% lengthening occurs, the stacked rocket could reach a length of 144 meters. To put this into perspective, adding 24 meters would account for over 60% of the length of the Space Shuttle Orbiter, which was 37 meters long. The current SpaceX Starship upper stage measures 50 meters long, and a 20% increase would result in a 60 meter length. Comparatively, the Space Shuttle on the launch pad, with its external fuel tank and side boosters, stood at 56 meters tall. Extending the Starship payload area by 10 meters could boost the payload volume from 1,000 cubic meters to 1,800 cubic meters. However, if both fuel and the Starship structure increase, the stretched payload volume might only rise to 1,400 cubic meters. However, elongating the spacecraft necessitates the addition of more Raptor engines. The current Starship configuration incorporates six Raptors, but the prospect of increasing the number to nine, coupled with greater thrust, promises an overall propulsion enhancement. This modification allows the spaceship to launch a more substantial payload into orbit, especially during stage separation close to the vacuum of space. Envisioning a stretched starship with three sea-level optimized Raptors and six vacuum-optimized Raptors suggests a combined thrust of at least 2,000 tons, potentially exceeding 2,250 tons, contingent upon the engine's performance. At this upper thrust level, the stretched starship upper stage would be only 10% less powerful than the first stage of Falcon Heavy, currently recognized as the most potent operational rocket globally. Despite considerations of thrust, dimensions, and weight, the paramount focus is on how a stretched Starship with nine engines would impact the overall rocket's launch performance. According to unofficial modelers, the outcomes are noteworthy. In comparison to a standard Starship with a six-engine upper stage and a 33-engine booster, the stretched variant could theoretically boost the payload capacity of the rocket from approximately 150 tons to 220 tons or even more. This represents an almost 50% improvement over the shorter six-engine Starship configuration, showcasing the potential for a significant leap in launch capabilities. If these estimates prove accurate, the decision to upgrade Starship with nine Raptors and extend its tanks becomes an obvious choice. While it might slightly impede development and elevate the cost of nine-engine ships, the potential 50% improvement in payload performance would significantly enhance the efficiency of Starship's more ambitious Moon and Mars launch profiles, which involve multiple orbital refuelings. A 50% increase in payload capacity would enable SpaceX to execute most refueling tasks with greater efficiency, speed, and cost-effectiveness. Even if the upgrade plans dictate that all Starships will be stretched and equipped with nine Raptors, fully refueling the new Starship variant in low Earth orbit, LEO, might require only seven tanker launches instead of the previously estimated eight to ten. It appears that SpaceX is open to maintaining multiple distinct Starship variants. In this scenario, the ships exclusively dedicated to refueling Moon and Mars landers 
could remain at their current size, featuring around 1,200 tons of propellant storage and six Raptors. A fleet of upgraded starships could efficiently refuel their smaller counterparts with just five to six tanker launches. However, there's a possibility that the additional mass required to stretch Starship around five. Five meters or four tons is negligible enough that SpaceX will opt to stretch all Starship variants instead of maintaining different sizes. The second generation Starship is poised to incorporate upgrades gleaned from recent integrated flight tests and ground tests. Prior to launch, advancements are expected, particularly in the realm of improved and more secure welds in future Starship variants. There's also the potential for these design upgrades to extend to super heavy rockets in the future. Currently, up to four Starships are in production at Starbase, including Ship 33 and 34. These are undergoing preparation for assembly and could be among the first to receive the aforementioned upgrades. Beyond the augmentation of size, Elon Musk recognizes the imperative to upgrade the Raptor engines for these new generation Starship prototypes. In response to a post about a Raptor engine video, Musk conveyed his excitement about the next-gen Raptor engine, emphasizing its robustness that eliminates the need for a heat shield. The upcoming Raptor engine promises more thrust, higher ISP, and various other improvements. In recent flights, Starship has exclusively employed the Raptor 5-2 engines, characterized by SpaceX as having increased power and fewer parts, resulting in a lighter engine compared to V1. SpaceX has consistently pursued significant upgrades and conducted extensive ground tests not only to enhance reliability by replacing the less reliable first-generation Raptors, but also as a stepping stone towards a new engine generation, Raptor V3. In the context of rocket engines, the heat shield typically serves to protect engine components from heat when one of them explodes during testing or launch. However, these heat shields also contribute significantly to the weight that Starship has to bear. By eliminating the heat shield, not only does the engine become more compact, but it also facilitates easier engine installation and faster large-scale production compared to previous versions. As the Raptor engine becomes lighter, the overall weight of Starship will decrease, contributing to improved efficiency and performance. In May, SpaceX conducted the first three tests of the Raptor V3, achieving record-breaking thrust levels. To put the increased power of Raptor V3 into perspective, let's compare it to the Saturn V, the rocket that propelled NASA's Apollo astronauts to the lunar surface. The Saturn V generated seven, six million pounds of thrust with its 33 engines. Now, considering that Starship could potentially surpass the Saturn V to become the world's most powerful rocket, despite each Raptor engine having less thrust than the F-1 engines on the Saturn V. Although the Saturn V is no longer operational, NASA developed a new rocket called the Space Launch System, SLS, boasting a maximum thrust of 8. 8 million pounds. NASA claimed it to be the most powerful rocket during its liftoff in November 2022. However, SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy quickly dethroned the SLS as soon as they reached space, showcasing their capability to generate a staggering 19. 5 million pounds of liftoff thrust. Apart from the impressive thrust, the simplicity of the Raptor engines contributes to making manufacturing and repairing them easier and more cost-effective. Elon Musk's philosophy, as he aptly stated, is the best part is no part. SpaceX has demonstrated remarkable efficiency in Raptor engine production, currently achieving a rate of one engine every 24 hours at a cost of about a million dollars per engine, or potentially as low as $200,000 if mass-produced. Moreover, these engines are designed to be reused up to 100 times, representing unprecedented numbers in the aerospace industry that defy conventional expectations. Fast and cost-effective production, repair and refurbishment will play a crucial role for SpaceX especially in the context of distant and expensive missions like the ambitious goal of colonizing Mars. Anticipation builds around the potential of this formidable engine for the Starship, and SpaceX is expected to conduct more tests in the near future. Perhaps we'll witness the immense power of this engine during the next orbital flight. While the specifics of Starship's future development haven't been extensively analyzed, Elon Musk has emphasized the importance of taking risks. He once mentioned a prevailing bias against risk-taking in the industry, where many are focused on optimizing for caution. Musk's philosophy suggests that as long as even a 1% chance of risk remains, SpaceX is likely to find ways to develop upgrades while maintaining a commitment to the highest possible level of reliability. What do you think? Is Elon Musk right in his risk-taking approach, or should SpaceX be more cautious? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.